Transferring from Georgia Tech to Alabama, running back Jameer Gibbs had plenty of high expectations and he met those and played at a superstar level. Now after declaring for the draft, Gibbs will once again be met with high expectations. How will he fare in meeting those? Find out on this 2 Minute Drill. When it comes to play speed, Gibbs will immediately step into the NFL as one of the faster running backs in the league. With his incredible acceleration, Gibbs has big playability every time he touches the football, and his pacing as a runner makes him extremely productive at finding creases and breaking into the second level. As a runner, he can turn on the Jets in a split second to fly around the field and get past the defense, which makes him extremely difficult to get a good angle on for defenders trying to make a stop. That same burst and playmaking ability gets benefited from his agility and shiftiness as a runner that makes Gibbs incredibly difficult to work against in the open field. Even in limited space or limited time, Gibbs has enough juice and burst to make defenders miss and find himself gaining extra yardage as a result. As the NFL works more and more outside zone concepts into the average running game, Gibbs' ability to work outside is probably the best in this class and it makes him an excellent fit for so many offenses across the league looking for a playmaker in their backfield. Sprinkling Gibbs' excellent receiving ability is arguably Alabama's most reliable weapon in the passing game this year and Gibbs is truly a high upside player at the running back position. As far as concerns go, Gibbs can be a bit straight up at times as a runner, and while he showcased some ability to handle inside work, he likely isn't the guy that you're going to be relying on to handle most of the work between the hashes. Also, as a receiver, he's very good, but his catch radius is noticeably small, which hurts his receiving upside a bit, and leads to him having some issues in terms of reeling in catches. For a pro comparison, Gibbs projects best to former Carolina Panthers star back, D'Angelo Williams. While Williams played around 210, and Gibbs is maybe 200 right now, I think both backs have a lot of similarities. Williams was a stud both at Memphis and in the NFL and dominated on the outside with his ability to capitalize in open space and accelerate for big plays. Gibbs has a lot of those traits overlapping into his skill set and should be able to dominate at a similar level, if not better, during his time in the NFL. Overall, Gibbs has a skill set that many star running backs in today's league have that should make him incredibly difficult to ever fully contain in the NFL. As an outside zone back, Gibbs should be able to use those traits in order to thrive and become one of the league's better playmakers. I expect that he'll be off the board somewhere in the second round, but it wouldn't shock me if a team was willing to take a swing and get him in the first round either. There's a lot of debates concerning the values of running backs in today's NFL discourse, but star players are star players, and Jameer Gibbs should be just that. And that's the two-minute drill.